Is this a VTuber park? Um, I'm not even sure what this is. Amazement and Attractions at Precious Park. What a theme. Ah, Amazement Administrator. Uh, uh, a a Trelliano? I don't even know, man. I, I just work here. All right. Smile and nod. All right, so you can only use this card's first and second effects of this card's name once per turn each on a dark psychic monster. It looks like a spellcaster, by the way. If a trap card is activated, quick effect, you can splash summon this card from your hand. All right, we're getting places here. If your opponent normal or splash summons a monster or monsters, you can target one of those monsters. Equip it with one attraction trap card from your deck. Once per turn, you can banish any number of attraction traps from your graveyard and then target that many cards your opponent controls and destroy them. So this archetype is going to be equipping trap cards from the deck. Um, okay, sure. You know what, you got me. All right, Amazement Ambassador Bufo on a Earth level three beast monster. Hands are uh, crossed here for some good stuff. When this card is normal or summoned, you can target one attraction trap card in your graveyard and one face of monster opponent controls. Equip that target to that uh, target on the field with that target from the graveyard. Quick effect, you can target one of your attraction traps equipped to a monster. Equip it with an amazement trap. Equip it to an amazement monster you control or a face of monster your opponent controls. I really do hope that these traps are rewarding for the equips. All right, and then we got Amazement Attendant Comica. The art's at least cool on this stuff, I guess. So when this card is normal summon, you can set one attraction spell card directly from your deck to your spell and trap card zones. Is this my Romelio? Quick effect, you can target one of your attraction and trap cards equipped to a monster. Equip it to an amazement monster you control or a face up monster, so you'll be able to switch or rue your trap cards. All right, that's cute, I guess. Amazing time ticket. This is a normal spell card. All right. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. So we can pay 800 life points. Pay feel great, baby. All right. Uh, apply this effect based on whose turn it is. If it's our turn, we can add one amazement card from our deck to our hand. If it's during the opponent's turn, we can set one attraction spell card directly from our deck to our spell and trap card zones. It can be activated this turn. So this is just a pay eight feel great uh, tutor for a trap card or tutor for any amazement card in our deck. All right, I mean, the, the, the fact that it's got a different mode for the opponent's turn is pretty cute, actually. All right, amazement special show. I see we got little Karibos here. This is literally just the circus. All right, like we, we've somehow have made the entire archetype circus based. And when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets an amazement monster monsters you control, hardly anything really targets, but okay. When you target one of those amazement monsters we control, return it to the hand, and then we can special summon one amazement monster from our hand. So we just bounce the monster back to our hand and then we just resummon the same amazement monster and we avoid the being targeted. That this card this is bad. <laughs> amazement Precious Park. All right, so I see it's a standard field spell. It's probably gonna search on activation. All right, you can only use each of the following effects of this card's names, first and second effects once per turn each. You can activate one attraction trap card during your main phase the turn it is set. All right, sure. During your end phase, you can send one of your attraction traps equipped to a monster to the graveyard. Target one of your attraction traps with a different name that is banished or in your graveyard and set it back. So we get that recur ability back. All right, so those are your, your six cards into this archetype. Yeah, we're six, right? Yeah, three spells and three monsters. And we still haven't got to the traps. I just want to say here that uh, these traps better be crazy. Because so far going first, when you're setting up this stuff, um, it. I, I hope these are good. Uh, Amazement Family Race. 
All right. That's a cute little name. Fam oh, family Face. Oh, I figured it was said race. So you can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. So we can target one monster the opponent controls equipped with your attraction trap card. Equip this card to that target. Take control of the equipped monster. All right, we're off to a great place here. While you control the equipped monster against 500 attack, it cannot activate its effects. It is also treated as an amazement monster. All right, well, straight out of the gate here, we got we got a snatch deal. All right, um, sure. <laughs> Literally, you just target a monster the opponent controls, equipped with your attraction trap card. Equip it with this card. So as long as it's already got something on it, you get it, and then you get to take it. All right. Um, okay. No, that's that's pretty good. Amazement Attraction Cyclone Coaster. Okay. CC, by the way. So, we can target one Amazement Monster we control, or one face-up monster the opponent controls, equip it to this target. Alright? Second effect, you can activate this effect based on the equipped monster's controller. So, if it's us, we can target a spell and trap card the opponent controls, send it to send it and this card to the graveyard. If it's the opponent, we can add an amazement monster from our deck to our hand, and if you do, send this card to the graveyard. So we actually have a secondary rota for this, and this also gives us the ability to have spell and trap hate on the opponent. Um, once again, this archetype seems very fair, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, I would say this is just a, and we're gonna use the Holy Knight scale here. Holy Knight is like the ultimate fair deck. This might be a little bit more above that. I feel like we're we're essentially being too fair here. All right, so this is the uh, the Wola Costa, the Wonder Wheel. So same thing here. We could target an Amazement Monster we control, or one face of monster the opponent controls, and equip this to that target. All right. So and then you get to activate the effect based on the equipped controller. So if it's us. During the main phase, we can return one card from the hand to the bottom of the deck and draw a card. Okay, your opponent swaps the monster's attack and defense till the end of this turn. Why? Why does that need to be written on this card? All right, hey, we get to sword and shield somebody, and we get card trader. Okay. All right. This is actually really nice. I like this trap. The art's really nice. Can we get something broken here? Amazement, Attraction, Majestic, Manage. So we can target an Amazement monster we control or a face-up monster the opponent controls and equip it to this target. So if it's our monster, the equipped monster gains 500 attack and if we're destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send this card to the graveyard instead. All right, so we get something that gets to take a blow, all right? The opponent, the equipped monster loses 500 attack for each attraction trap equipped to a monster. This is too fair. All right, what else we got here? Amazement Attraction Rapid Racing. This literally should have been a UA trap card. All right. Target one Amazement Monster or a face of monster the opponent controls. Equip it. Uh, so if it's our monster, we could target one card in either graveyard. Change the equipped monster's battle position if you do shuffle the target into the deck. If it's your opponent, increase the equipped monster's level by one if you do change its battle position. Okay, this is our this is our last one, Horror House. I'm really glad to see that the Ghost Tricks get a little homage here, <laughs> a little Dracula here. All right, so quick to an Amazement Monster or Face Up Monster the opponent controls. All right, blah blah blah. You, you guys know this. You can activate the effect based on the equipped monster. So if it's us, target one effect monster opponent controls and negate its effects till the end of this turn. Or change the equipped monster to face down defense position. So it's a Book of Moon. So we have a Snatch Deal. We have a Book of Moon. We have two Stratos in the archetype, two Searchers. Uh, it's not horrible, but this is once again, I've talked about this a lot lately. The, a lot of the archetypes right now are very fair. And this is cute. I mean, there's there's a lot of potential to be had in this stuff. I'm not saying that it's for competitive value, it's just not there. But eh, it, it's gimmicky. I like that. So, guys, what do you think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And, uh, well, this hair won't stay down no matter how many times I try. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace. 
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcol 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.